Today we're making stir fry on the flat rock grill. It is the perfect cooking device for this. It gets super hot and I'm gonna take you through all these varieties of vegetables, flavors, and how to be successful and make your customized perfect stir fry. We have our proteins here. We have our heartier veg. We have our softer veg here. Then we have things like rice and noodles you can add in, stir fry with, or at the end to top it. And then we have our sauce ingredients. We're gonna show you a very basic one, our mother sauce. It's super easy to find ingredients at your local grocery store. Um, from there, you can build it with other things like fish sauce, oyster sauce, mirin, chili garlic crisp, gochujang. Uh, you really can add that in and customize it to your sweetness, saltiness, savory, however you want it. All right, so we're gonna get cooking right now. We're gonna start off with our proteins. I'm gonna explain to you a very important part of cooking on the flat rock uh, is measing all your ingredients out. That's what all these little bowls are for, and that's gonna give you your success because this cooks so fast, you wanna have everything ready to go and not be running around back into the house grabbing random stuff. So we're gonna get going here. I'm gonna show you how to slice vegetables, meat. Let's do it. So today we're gonna be using a combination of chicken breast and chicken thigh. Uh, you can use one or the other. I just like to use the thigh and breast because the thigh has more fat on it. So you wanna slice it nice and thin, everything just even about the same size so we get even cooking on everything. We got this all sliced up. We're gonna get it into our bowl here. We got our thigh, got some nice fat on there. And like I said, just like a mix of this is great. And we're gonna take those and we're gonna add them to our bowl here. It's about, I'd say it's about two cups. All right, so now that we got our protein all cut up, we're gonna start with our vegetable. We got our bell pepper here. We're gonna wanna seed and core it. So an easy way to do that is to chop the top off, chop the bottom off, and then you actually take it like this, put your knife in, and you can actually de-vein and kind of roll it out. You're almost like filleting the pepper. We're just gonna slice it into matchsticks here. And this way, we're just everything, like I said before, the chicken, we're just getting a nice, even cook on everything. All right, now that we got our pepper cut up here, we're gonna start putting them into our meese bowls. Next, we're gonna get into our carrots. So we're gonna cut our carrot here. We're gonna cut this into matchsticks. We're just gonna cut one side nice and flat, so that way it just makes it safer instead of the carrot rolling around. So we're gonna cut this like this and do about quarter inch slices. So we're gonna add these to our meese bowl. So we're gonna move on to our onion next. Another good trick with the onion is to leave the root on we're gonna use half an onion today. All right, so easy way is to just take your knife and go about halfway through this one and you just want to do a nice slip, not all the way to the end. Go the other way and we're just gonna do some nice little strips here. All right, got our onion, add that to our tray. All right, so we're gonna move on to our broccoli here. This we just wanna cut into bite-sized pieces, so we're gonna remove the stem. We're gonna save that for later. And you can actually just kind of break it up with your hand too if you want. And we just want everything, like I said, cooking even, all similar sizes. Some pieces you might have to cut through the center, but just bite size. All right, broccoli's ready to go. Add that to our tray here. All right, next we're gonna move on to our mushrooms. Uh, these are shiitakes we're using today. Um, so you wanna take the stem off of these. The stem is just a little too hard to like cook through. So it'll just make it more tender. And once we get these stems out, we're gonna cut these into a similar matchstick size. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get our mushrooms into our meese bowl here. All right, so next we're gonna move on to our garlic. And then we'll just give it a nice mince here, just running your knife through it. Got our garlic there all ready to go. I'll grab another bowl here. Just gonna put that right in there. All right, so next we're gonna go into our scallion. Um, scallion, ginger, garlic, this is kind of like our Asian mirepoix. It's what really gives you that base flavor to like all Asian cooking. So we're gonna take these and we're just gonna slice them up nice and thin. I'm gonna cut the tops off. And then we're just gonna go a little angle. You can go straight angle. You could cut these into little, tiny little scallion wings and put them in ice water. Um, I just like to do it like this. And, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can do some, you can do some thick in there, thin. And when I get down to the stem, I definitely have to keep it a little thinner because it's just a little bit more kind of coarse down there or hearty. But we want to use all parts of it all the way up to the little end here. All right, add that to our tray here. 
And then next we're gonna move into our ginger and you could finely chop ginger. I like to grate it. Um, and also grating it, you really don't even have to take the peel off. It'll just kind of come off as you grate it. So to do that, this is a micro plan. If you have a box grater, that also works great. And we're just gonna use about a one inch knob of ginger. And then we're gonna get this in our meat bowl. All right, so now we're gonna get into our sauce. So first we're gonna add our cornstarch here and kind of make a little slurry with our rice wine vinegar. So we're gonna give that a nice mix, try and get everything from the side of the bowl. And then after this, there's really no true order. You can kind of add whatever you want in any order. All right, so next I'm gonna add the soy sauce here. I'm gonna add our chicken stock. And just mixing while you add it, this just helps to mix it up evenly. Add our sugar, last but not least, our sesame oil. And this is just gonna give you so much flavor on there and it's really gonna caramelize and just thicken up when it hits that flat rock. All right, now for the fun part. Let's get cooking on the flat rock. So we have every zone on the flat rock heated up to high. We wanna do this at a very high temp. We wanna get that beautiful color browning caramelization on there. And this thing just cooks so even, you don't have to worry about any cold spots at all. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna season our griddle for this cook. We're gonna take some oil here. This is canola, any kind of high smoke temp oil like canola, vegetable, even grapeseed oil is great. Uh, we're cooking so high, we wanna use those high smoke point oils. So first what I'm gonna do is get a thin coat on here of this. And we're actually gonna just kind of wipe this around and then we're gonna actually let it burn off. So I'm actually gonna use a spatula to smooth it out on here and just get a nice even coat. And this kind of just gives you that first initial nonstick seasoning. And then right before we get all the vegetables on, we're gonna give it one more coat of oil. All right, so now that we've let that oil kind of burn and just really suck into the grate, we're just gonna grab a paper towel and we wanna use tongs so you don't burn your hands. And we're just gonna give it a quick wipe before we add our next layer of oil. This is gonna happen real fast. That's why we got everything prepped. We're gonna take our oil here and we're gonna just do one more thin coat over the whole griddle. Take our spatula, rub that around, and then we're just gonna start adding all of our protein and veg. First, we're gonna add our chicken. We're just gonna kinda get it into a nice little line. We can spread it out after. Chicken first can take the longest. Our heartier veg, like carrot, is gonna be next. After that, we're gonna add our onion. Then our bell pepper. Then we're gonna add our mushrooms. And then our broccoli. And for the ginger, scallion, and garlic, I'm gonna add that in right before we add our sauce. That way we don't burn it. All right, so I'm gonna spread our chicken out here so we get a nice even cooking on it. We want all sides to be hitting the flat rock. Like I said, corner to quarter, edge to edge. We got even heat everywhere. Spread our carrots out a little bit. And using two spatulas really helps. We're just gonna keep kind of spreading out. We're gonna come back over to our chicken here, give that a flip. And you see we're getting some nice browning on here. And this whole process right here, this takes about six minutes. So it's a quick, easy weekday dinner. And we'll come back, give our carrots a little flip here. Just utilizing both spatulas, just make it easy to flip everything. You can see how we're getting all that beautiful color on there. Mushrooms are starting to cook down. Our broccoli is turning to a beautiful green. All right, so we're gonna give this a couple more minutes. We're gonna let our chicken finish cooking, and then we're gonna bring it all together. All right, so our chicken is looking beautiful. Carrots are looking beautiful. Everything is looking great right now, so I'm gonna take all this, and I'm gonna bring it right into the center, and I'm just gonna use both spatulas and just mix it all together. And now we're gonna add our ginger, garlic, and scallion very end so we don't burn that. We'll give it another quick mix. That's all in there. Give that one more quick mix here. 
Don't be afraid to use these spatulas. It's fun. Move it around. All right, let's bring that all back together. And last, we're gonna add our sauce. Give your sauce one more little whisk here. And just drizzle that all over. Get a little steam going. And this is really when the sauce is gonna thicken up. So we're just gonna really quickly move all this around. And you can see the sauce is just starting to caramelize and thicken as soon as it hits that high heat. Colors are looking beautiful. Everything is coming together here. Now we're just gonna take both our spatulas here, scoop it up like this. You might make a little mess, that's right. It takes a little bit of practice. I'm just gonna put that right onto our plate. These spatulas are your best friend. No soggy vegetables, no uncooked chicken. You can serve this with rice, noodles, uh, you can stir fry it in, or it's good just by itself. We're gonna top it with a little sesame seed and some fresh scallion. Just gives it some nice pizzazz color. Last but not least, some fresh green scallions, and that will just really finish everything off. And look at this, it's, it's beautiful. And it's gonna taste so good. And now the best part, let's take a bite. Dig in here, just get a little bit of everything on there. Oh my God. Sweet, savory, salty, just the perfect balance. You are gonna love this. Head to Traeger.com for more recipes.